Thanks. Now here in Georgia, the official watch party for the Democrats is in downtown Atlanta. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn will be in the room as the results start to trickle in. Patrick, Georgia Democrats believe momentum has been building for Vice President Harris. And Sean, we will take our viewers inside the room here at the High Regency in downtown Atlanta as soon as they open those doors. But yes, Georgia Democrats and the Harris campaign, they say that momentum is on their side tonight. For if you remember, it was just 107 days ago that President Joe Biden withdrew his candidacy for re-election. And that's when Harris started her campaign as president. And she's been busy here in Georgia. She's been here, of course, multiple times. Let's take you through some of those visits here in Georgia. She was here in September for a rally solely focused on reproductive rights of women. And then last month, she visited a pair of metro churches on her birthday. She was serenaded by Stevie Wonder. The vice president was most recently in the state on Saturday, rallying at the Atlanta Civic Center. Democrats hope the state can go blue for the second straight presidential race. Here's how Georgia has fared in recent presidential elections with the 16 electoral college votes going often to the Republican candidate. But that was not the case in 2020. The state opting for a Democratic president for the first time since 1992. I spoke with Roger Rao of the Democratic National Committee feeling hopeful Georgia will go blue once again. Georgia, as you've seen on the ground, is a place that, you know, we've competed. We've done uh, what we needed to do in 2020. We did it again in 2022. And you know what? We're betting on the fact that Georgians know, you know, what matters in the election. They understand that Kamala's vision for the, this country, a new way forward, a new generation of leadership is, you know, what's needed for the state of Georgia. The Democrats certainly leaning on their ground game. Lau said that Georgia Democrats have knocked on 1.4 million doors campaigning for Kamala Harris. We'll have to see if that ground game pays off tonight. And again, this is where the Democratic watch party will be tonight. We will take you inside as soon as they open the doors, which should be in the next hour or so. And of course, bring you all of the electricity, the emotion from what will be a very historic night one way or the other. Live from downtown Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Former President